back to today's video. So today we're doing a two and a half pound tri-tip. This is one of my favorite steaks. New York strip and tri-tip are two of my favorites. So this, I'm really gonna enjoy this. My name is RJ and this is Beginners Barbecue Outdoors. All right, so here you have it. So the rub that we're gonna be using today is from Lane's. It's the Scorpion Combo Rub. So this is made for some good steak. And I'm excited to try this one for my steak. And since I want this to be cooked to perfection, I'm gonna rely on my temp spike from Thermo Pro. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oil for binder. Give it a nice rub. And let's get our binder. And now let's go ahead and get our rub. Now let's go ahead and add a nice amount of this scorpion. Even, even the name's good, scorpion rub. All right, Lanes. Now let's go ahead and do the other side. Add some oil and add more of this scorpion rub all around it. Get every part of this tri-tip. All right, now that we have this tri-tip nice and seasoned with our scorpion rub from Lanes, let's go ahead and add this bad boy into our tri-tip. All right, so now that we have this out here, let's go ahead and add our little spike in here. This is what we call the temp spike here. Uh, if you guys don't know a lot about this, this black stuff here, it's gonna monitor what your grill is running. And this stuff that goes, and this part that goes in the meat, it's gonna tell you what the inside is. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on the bigger side of the steak. Just like that. So now this is gonna communicate to my phone through the temp spike app. It's gonna tell me everything I need to know. So now how are we gonna smoke this? On our Traeger grill, we're gonna put our Traeger to 250 degrees and we're gonna see how long this takes. I'm gonna keep a time on it. Um, last one I did was at 225, now I'm gonna try it at 250. And then we're gonna reverse sear it at the very end. Pretty much when, when it hits around, I'm gonna say around 130 something. Take it out, wrap it in foil paper, and then we're gonna bump up the grill to about 375 to 400 degrees. And then we're gonna sear, sear it each side for at least a minute. That should give us that good sear look on our tri-tip. That being said, let's go ahead and fire up our Traeger. All right, our Traeger's at 250 degrees. Let's go ahead and add this bad boy in here. Also, I'm gonna put my booster on top of the hopper. That way it's close where the probe is and then the hopper is going to communicate to my phone. All right, we'll be back when it's ready. All right, our temp spike has informed us that the meat is ready to come out. Now we're going to add, now we're going to turn up our Traeger to 300, 375. We'll be back. So while the Traeger gets to 375, we went, we went ahead and wrap it in foil. And then, uh, so once it's ready, we're going to take it off the foil and sear it. All right, our Traeger's at 375. Leave it there for one minute each side. We'll be back. One minute has passed. Let's turn it the other way. All right, it's ready to come out. Before we cut this, let's have a quick recap of what we did today. All right, we're back. So there'll be a link in the description if you guys want to check this temp spike out. It makes it real easy. Just relax at the house, keep an eye on your phone, and it'll let you know when it's ready to roll. Let's go ahead and take it out. That easy. 
Now I'll let this, I'll let this rest for 10 minutes before we give it the first cut. So we're gonna go ahead and cut against the green and then the green on this one goes the other way around. This is perfect. Now let's go ahead and try it. It's really good. The flavor of that rub is really good. Mm. Just enough smoke flavor. It's really good. That rub is not bad. Really good. There's a nice flavor to the steak. Make sure you guys, once again, make sure you guys check out that link in the description if you guys want to get one of these. Or if you want to try this rub, it's also, there'll be a link on there. You guys try it out. I'll see you guys next time.